Hi there, in this video I'm going to try and get the Upshers Opposed Twin up and running. So I uh, completed the flywheel, this bit on the front is made out of aluminium and uh, there's a grub screw here holding it onto the crankshaft. What I did was I just cut, cut a little sort of flat um, on the crankshaft uh, just for that grub screw to uh, to fit onto to stop it from moving around and that seems to work okay um, I made this fuel tank um, just something knocked together really I had a bit of sort of spare stuff kicking around and uh, th to be honest if, if I fill it up high um, sort of gravity um, sort of causes the carb to overflow um, so I've only got a sort of like a, a, a little level in here at the moment. Um, so that, that needs to be revisited at some stage. Um, what else can I report? Uh, I've been trying to get this thing going for about only an hour. And uh, I found that there was a, a bit of a leak by that spark plug. So I've just tightened it, nipped that up a little bit. And uh, I... Uh, changed the timing a little bit uh, previously I'd set it on the bench to just before top dead centre I've, I've changed that to be uh, a few more degrees just before top dead centre I don't know whether you call that advance or retard but anyway uh, it's coming on uh, a little bit before top dead centre and uh, we'll give it a try so that's the little attachment I made for the drill you put it on there. Not much tolerance really there, but anyway, there you go. I switch the ignition on and uh, give it a give it a bash. Oops, wrong way round. Looking good. Well, I'm happy with that. That's running on Coleman fuel. I've not tried uh, petrol in it yet. Um, but yeah, very happy with that. Well, I don't know. I'm absolutely staggered. Um, I usually spend about one or two days troubleshooting uh, these IC engines when I, you know, do a final assembly. And uh, this one, after an hour, just sprung into life. Just can't believe it. Um, you know, compression's good. Uh, ignition's good. I need to revisit the fuel side of things a little bit. Um, I need to make a proper sort of like stand for it and hide the ignition away somewhere. Um, and there's a few little bits and pieces I need to to make, uh, but fundamentally, it's uh, it's a really good runner. It ticks over quite nicely as well. Um, so uh, when I was making this, I had some real um, sort of concerns because this is the smallest engine I've made and uh, the smaller you get the tolerance has become even sort of smaller and uh, the heads on this engine um, things are so close together um, you know it's, it's quite sort of like challenging for me anyway uh, but it's a relief it, it runs um, and uh, the last thing I wanted was a, a non-runner, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I, I, I need to make a base and uh, make a few bits and bobs um, that are in, in the drawing. I think there's a breather or something that needs to be sorted out. Uh, but uh, in terms of videos, um, I, I'll call this the final one uh, because uh, you know I, it's, it's proven it's a, it's a runner. Um, but uh, I uh, thank everybody for uh, following along on the series and uh, I hope that uh, anybody who's making uh, an Upshers opposed twin 
uh, might find some of the content of, uh, of interest, particularly the earlier videos where I do a lot of machine work. Uh, but uh, thanks for uh, everybody's support and uh, watching, and I hope to see you later.